Hi, I'm Heather and I will be demonstrating how to give a newborn a sponge bath. Babies only need a bath a couple of times a week. Assemble everything you will need first. It may be helpful to do a bath before a feeding because infants do not usually enjoy baths until they are old enough to play. If they get upset, they are more apt to throw up right after their feeding. Babies can only have a sponge bath until their cord falls off, which takes approximately 8 to 14 days. Check the water temperature with your wrist or back of your hand. It should be comfortably warm to your skin. Use plain water on your baby's face and wipe his or her eyes from the inside out with a clean part of the cloth. Shampoo scalp using baby shampoo to prevent tearing and irritation. You can use any mild soap and a tearless shampoo. Use a mild soap on the rest of the body and make sure you get all creases dry and clean. Wash with soap, rinse with water, and dry well. Let the umbilical cord air dry. It should fall off on its own after a few weeks. You may use an emery board on the nails for the first month of life. We recommend that you do not use baby clippers since the skin is too closely adhered to the nails. You will not need to use lotions on your baby's skin since over the next few days, your baby will produce its own oils. Using lotion can actually hinder this process. We also ask that you do not use baby powders since the fumes can get into the baby's lungs. Please be sure to ask your pediatrician before using sunscreen on your baby. It is important to change diapers whenever the baby seems uncomfortable because of a dirty diaper. It is usually best to change a diaper prior to a feeding. Don't wake your baby to change them. You can use petroleum jelly on your infant's buttocks during the meconium tar stool stage to help it not stick. If you believe your baby has a diaper rash, please call your baby's provider. You may occasionally notice an orange salmon color in the diaper that smells like urine. This is called urates and it is normal. If you notice white patches on your baby's tongue or a red and raw bottom, it could be the sign of a yeast infection and you should contact your baby's provider. Nipples, labia, and scrotum may be enlarged from hormones the baby has received from the mom. For girl babies, always wipe from front to back when cleaning the diaper area. Dry well and apply ointment generously after a diaper change. You may notice a small amount of vaginal bleeding in the diaper. This is known as a mini period. It is due to mom's hormones passing through the baby and this is normal as well. Girls may also have a lot of vaginal mucus and discharge. If your baby is a boy, do not pull back on his foreskin until your baby's provider tells you to do so. If your son is circumcised, use petroleum jelly on a 2x2 two two piece of gauze for 24 hours after the circumcision, and then use petroleum jelly on the penis after 24 hours for 3-4 to four days until it is not red and sore. As the penis heals, it looks like there is lint on the penis. Do not rub it off. Wipes may be irritating until the penis is healed, so you can use a wet washcloth instead.